Morning, buddy. Hello. <laughs> good morning, honey. Oh, good boy. <laughs> good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. Happy Vlogmas Day 20. I'm feeling a little bit better than it did yesterday, so that's hopeful. The Claritin did work. Uh, I had to take two of them. Uh, but my nose is definitely much better. Um, I'm still a little sleepy, and I've got a little tiny touch of a headache, and that's it. Um, I have not ruled out calling out sick tomorrow. If I feel 100% tomorrow morning, I'm going to go to work. Uh, but if I'm not really feeling 100%, I think I'm going to call out sick. I don't call out sick very often. Uh, the, the hesitation is that I don't want to get points, uh, because even though I don't have enough points to get to a terminable, <laughs> terminable stage at work, it's just not nice having points. It feels like I'm being penalized, so I don't know. But I also don't want to get anybody sick. There's that, right? So if I feel 100%, I'll go to work tomorrow. If I don't, eh, I'm going to stay home for a few more days. Um, let's see. I'm going off to the post office. One of my subscribers said that a package should be waiting for me there. Uh, and then I, I sold uh, a Hydro Flask insulated bottle. Uh, and um, I, I'm considering driving to the other post office to drop that off as it would arrive at the purchases, the buyer's address a little bit faster than the, the airport um post office, but I'm not really in the mood to do that, so I think I'll just drop it off at the airport parking lot. Lastly, before I leave the house, I want to show you these little this little thing. Do you remember these little glass blobs I bought at a recent uh, Goodwill haul? There's a whole tray of these little red blobs of glass on wire in different sizes, and uh, I bent the hook, and you can probably guess what I'm doing with it. I'm putting it on the Christmas tray. Uh, and they, they do look, look rather festive on the tree. They're kind of fun. But it kind of almost looks like the tree is bleeding a little bit, which is not terribly festive, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah, there we go. They look better at night than they do in the daytime. All right, off to the post office. And leaving the house, I finally hung the wreath that my cousin Linda made for me. How pretty is that? Very festive. Definitely more festive than my Christmas tree, which looks like it's bleeding. <laughs> oh, guys, I wish you were here. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. It's a high of 67, a low of 50. You can't get better. You can't get better. Uh, it does cool off in the next few weeks, but not by much. Not by much. I love Vegas this time of year. Uh, so I'm going to the, the uh, airport post office to pick up a package for me. Thank you very much for who sent it. Uh, and I'm dropping off an eBay sale as well. And I'm also bringing a bottle of wine to the woman who, the lady, she's a lady. Um, she works at the post office. She sees me, she turns and grabs the package. There's no like, oh, what box number are you? She just knows who I am, but I get a lot of packages. <laughs> so I'm bringing her a bottle of wine. It's a bottle of wine that the sellers of my condo left for me as a gift. I know it's three years old, but why does it go bad, does it? I mean, I'm not gonna buy a bottle of wine. The woman, um, not a woman, one of the ladies that works at the Brighton store here in the, the airport gave her a box of the, or 10 of those little butter cookies that you buy at CVS. Now, I'll buy those for myself because I love those cookies. But would I give them as a gift? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm hoping the bottle of wine's okay. She's a government employee. Is it legal to give wine? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. This is the wine, by the way. I wasn't sure if the giant, well, rooster, as you might call it, on the front was a joke. Uh, and it's a Merlot. And I was doubting whether I should give her a Merlot, only because in my book, you can't guzzle you can't like chug a Merlot. <laughs> and the way I drank wine, it was like, how fast could I get it down my throat? That's, that was my drinking. And Merlot was never the winner there. <laughs> uh, maybe a Riesling, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's see if she'll take this. 
forgot the post office is closed to 1.30 in the afternoon. I got a, a Christmas card, which I will add to my pile to open up. Um, there is no notification of a package in my P.O. box. So whomever uh, said that I, was, I had a, ba a package waiting for me, maybe I already picked it up. I do have some things under the tree. We'll find out. Maybe when I when she opens up, maybe she'll see the package waiting for me, especially after I get bread bottle of wine. Happily, the lady at the post office was allowed to accept the bottle of wine, so I was very happy about that. She received it with a big smile. Very happy about that. So um, the subscriber, hi, who says that there's a package for me at the post office, maybe it's something I've already picked up uh, because there was nothing at the post office except for something I ordered online. So, uh, you know, I have really fallen in love with this brand of baseball cap. It's called Black Clover. And uh, it's they, it says Live Lucky inside and somewhere on the back, I think. Uh, and I just, I just love how they fit the most comfortable baseball cap I've ever worn. I love them. I have two black, one sort of dark blue. And there were some colors that were on sale on their website, they were half price. Uh, they're usually thirty-eight dollars, forty something dollars. Uh, so I got this one. So I just love the classic green and white. I loved that. The caps are—they're incredibly comfortable. If you know a guy who's into hats, these hats are definitely worth buying. And obviously not uh, a, a sponsored video here. And then this one, which is similar to the one I'm wearing right now, that one, but. It's more of a royal blue with the blue uh, clover on the front. And I love it. So excited. And it says live lucky on the inside. Literally the most comfortable hat ever. I was about to buy the black with yellow clover. And I really should have. But I don't think it was on sale. Uh, and I'm not going to pay full price for that hat. But there we go. Um, I am feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Um... I have yet to eat, so I'm gonna grab some. Oh, I have more ravioli at home. I'll eat at home. So I'll see you there. Can you hear that? It's a tray being pushed and it's just jangling, jangling. I think I've got, is it misophonia, misophonia, something like that? I really think I, I suffer from it. Noise drives me out of my mind, particularly noises. Scuffing your feet when you walk, pick up your heels. Um, chewing with her mouth open don't blame me when I kill you it's it's not you it's not me it's it's the noise but uh, yeah tonight today has been loud here at Ikea so I was gonna go home and eat those uh, ravioli I have left over but I was in the mood for some um, Swedish meatballs and I got like the, like the 16 piece order yeah I'm hungry um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, I've just been uh, watching, I'm almost finished, the recording of our um, CEO and executive staff, their fourth quarter, or the third quarter, fourth quarter, uh, a meeting. And uh, they do a, uh, usually do a live meeting with a question and answer uh, section afterwards. I've not been very satisfied nor happy with most of what they've had to say, but I have no power and no control. So, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, the merger, because a lot of you guys have asked me about that. Uh, the trial is over, and the judge has said he needs like 30 to 45 days to look at everything, and so we'll find out hopefully in January or so uh, what to expect with that trial. All right, I'm going to tuck into my food, and uh, I'll see you soon. So I found out two interesting things today. First off, we have historically not had international non-revving benefits with United, American, or um, Delta. So with almost any other carrier in the, in the world, we had international travel benefits, but not with the big three. Uh, that has now changed. So apparently we have international non-revving benefits with United. That is welcome news to a lot of people. I don't travel internationally ever, uh, but... That's a nice, uh, nice little perk. Uh, I'm sure something to do with the JetBlue thing has has played into that. But uh, the other big news, and I'm not sure how this is going to going to affect me personally, 
Uh, but the uh, during COVID, the company offered extended voluntary time off. Now that could be a month, three months, six months, or a year. I think they offered a year. Well, they just made the announcement they're offering voluntary time off once again. Um, they've offered, I made notes uh, using the gravy of my Swedish meatballs on my plate so I would remember the numbers. So they're offering nine people out of Las Vegas the month of February off. Then they're going to offer 45 people the option to take three months off starting in February. And then they're going to offer uh, 36 uh, each for potentially six months off and for a year off. So nine people for one month, 30, uh, 45 I think it is for three months, and 36 each for six months and a year. Now with the six months and a year, I, I maybe the, the maybe the three months too, they're going to offer 50 hours credit, not paid, which they did during the pandemic, but towards our benefits threshold. We have to work a certain number of credit hours in order to continue getting health insurance and stuff like that. So uh, if you take a uh, volunteer to take that much time off, they're going to give us that credit so that we don't lose our health benefits because we took that time off. Uh, for uh, one month, and I don't think they're offering it for three months, I'm just going to have to work more next year, that's all. Uh, but I thought that was very interesting. During COVID, they offered this, but they offered us 36 hours of pay in addition to that. Oh, I should have mentioned, this is a big one. They're going to be paying the health insurance. The fact that the amount that we would normally pay, the employee portion, they're paying the health insurance for anybody taking six months or 12 months off. That's significant especially for families because family insurance is ridiculously expensive so i think that's quite interesting so two bits of interesting news that i found out today i thought i'd pass some of that along to you and uh i finished my dinner and i'm ready for a nap but i have to drive home <laughs> i'll see you there i was just thinking some of you were out there thinking oh are you going to take voluntary time off steven is that why you mentioned it no, I can't afford to take voluntary time off. Oh my goodness. Now, I barely have enough money in the account, my accounts to cover my bills for a month and a half or maybe two months I have enough to cover my bills, but I can't take voluntary time off and I'd be driven crazy with all that time off. So no, I'm not taking the voluntary time off, but I think a lot of people will and I think a lot of senior people will. Uh, so that will improve uh, my bidding situation, which will be nice. But uh, yeah, so I'm not taking that vacation, that uh, voluntary time off, just in case you're wondering. Mm. What are you doing, crazy girl? What are you doing, crazy girl? You're crazy. You are crazy and cute as hell. You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. Good girl. Buddy, what are you doing eating? You just threw up. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, see that little white thing in the middle there? That is a Christmas ornament. It's Santa's coat. Eleanor just pulled it off the tree. Huh. That's the first time she's done that. Three minutes of me talking and I wasn't filming. Yes. So, hi. It's um, just past 6.30 in the evening. I've been home for a little while. Um, I've got a full belly. I'm very happy. Um, I took a sleeping pill because I want to sleep for 12 hours. I just want to go to sleep and pass out. I don't even want Eleanor to wake me up in the morning for a treat. So I just want to sleep for like 12 hours. I feel almost 100% normal, except I'm a little tired, a little fatigued, more than usual. So I'm hoping after a good night's sleep tomorrow, I should be fine to go to work. I've got a great trip tomorrow. It's a three-day trip with a long Portland layover. So I really want to go to work. Um... <laughs> When do you ever say that? But, um, so I've been home for a little while. Apparently, Buddy was chowing down uh, before I got to the house. And I know this because, well, uh, you know, I talk a lot about people throwing up. Well, on my channel. Uh, Buddy, it's happened twice now. He has given this 
po his posture changes and he sort of turns his head down a little bit and he opens and closes his mouth a little way and I know immediately he's going to throw up. And uh, I don't want him to throw up on the carpet. He's on the coffee table. I don't want him to throw up there. So I just move my hand around as he moves his face. I move my hand around and he throws up in my hand. Now, I am so... <laughs> it makes me happy that he trusts me enough. He's a cat to throw up in my hand in a big, wet... It was pretty solid, though. Uh, but he had just eaten a ton of his favorite cat food, but he really didn't chew it. So he must have been starving. So he ate a ton. Uh, and if you don't have cats, cats, if they eat too much, too fast, they can throw up. It's not, like, unusual. They don't do it often, but Buddy, if he's, like, feeling particularly piggish, it's like after Thanksgiving, you've had, like, four pieces of pie, and you wish you could throw up? Well, but he does. Uh, but he threw up in my hand. And I, I was so touched by his trust that he would do that. Because, I don't know. But, so, yeah, I just got a handful of um, <laughs> Oh, you come to my channel for what? Um, let's see. So, it's been a, uh, an exciting evening here. Um, after I, Ikea, I was driving down Sunset. And I'm like, uh, there's a good well over there. Of course, I know, I know, I, to I told you. I know, I heard myself. I told you I have a problem. But I just figured, I walk in. I'm not going to get a card. If I see something cute, eh, I'll, I'll think about it. Just walk around, touch stuff. I have nothing else going on. Well, look at this. Let me put this down on the dirty floor here uh, to show you the size of the piece. It's an ashtray. You can see on the measuring tape there, it's very large. Uh, but it is um, super vintage, I believe, Batosi uh, pottery made for Raymore. That's my guess. I'm trying to do some research, but it's really difficult to find this stuff online. Uh, here is the uh, signature and the, and the numbering. Uh, I think this is by Batosi. And uh, if it is, this could be worth a fair amount of money. Uh, if I were to ever sell it, I don't, I don't need an ashtray, obviously, but, uh, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's a gorgeous piece of Italian pottery, and, uh, I follow, if you don't follow, you might want to watch her, if you love vintage, mid-century stuff, uh, Laura Caldwell on YouTube. She's got a tremendously successful YouTube channel and resale business and design business as well, and she is addicted to Potosi pottery. And so I've learned a lot. I think that is Potosi. If you know by chance, for some strange reason, if you know um, whether or not I'm right or wrong, let me know in the comment section. But it was $3.99. I had to buy it because I, you know, worst case, that's worth a couple hundred dollars. Just guessing. But I mean, it's an amazing piece of pottery. And I'll show you about one more thing. Technically two things. Uh, they are, I have a thing for votive, crystal votive holders. I don't know why. I could have a thing for heroin or for cocaine, but I don't. I have a thing for crystal votive holders. So it's okay, right? Uh, so it, it's a votive holder. So you put the round votive in there. It could also hold a taper candle as well. But uh, this is by a company called Dansk, if you're not familiar with a Danish company called Dansk, right there, and they are beautiful, and they paid $4.99. Uh, I got two of them. Am I out of focus? Ah, there you go. A um, little beauty blur. Um, so they were, I got two of them for $4.99 a piece, and I love them. I could probably sell them. I'm probably going to keep them, because I just have this, what's becoming a collection of Danish votive holders. Who collects Danish voter? I am very strange. Again, it's not heroin, right? Right? All right. I think that's going to be it for this video. <laughs> I told you all about the news at work, which is sort of interesting. I told you I caught my cat's vomit in my hands an act of love, if I ever heard of one, and then my, like, thrift. On this video, 
Um, so if I, if I did not already mention, I do film for Vlogmas all the way through December into New Year's and sometimes a day or two past that. Uh, and I did, I haven't talked much about my giveaway. Um, I have been, I've done a giveaway pretty much almost every year. This year I'm giving away a pair of JBL wireless earbuds. Uh, they're brand new in the box. They've got the little hook over the ear. So if you're very active, uh, they are, um, hundred percent brand new. I think they're like a hundred bucks. Uh, but, um, I got them at a super, 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 super steal. And, uh, so I, I'm going to be giving away a pair of earbuds because we could all use a pair. I have not figured out how I'm going to do that though. So, usually I ask you to do an act of kindness. If you're new to my channel, um, every year I do a giveaway and the way to enter is to perform an act of kindness or generosity during the holiday season. And it, it, from big, small, it doesn't have to be monetary, could be a gift of time, it could be a gift of whatever. Um, but uh, then I ask you to leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you did to, you know, be kind or generous that, that, uh, at that time. So maybe we'll do that again, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to end up figuring it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you later. Fly safe.